the Healthy Congregations training um, has been um, very helpful, especially been on the. This has been a very um, challenging year. There's been a lot of stuff going on at church and, and being on the board. And, um, it, we just have to deal with a lot of a lot of issues that have been raised. I didn't. I wasn't really sure what I was getting out of it, but then, you know, of course, almost you know within a month, we were actually dealing with situations in the church um, involving reducing people's anxiety, things that we'd actually talked about, about the congregations training. So it's kind of funny how, um, you know, almost immediately upon taking it, we're finding ways to put it into practice. What's been helpful for us is being a congregation that's come, and you have interested members in the congregation who are excited about church, come and learn about how to do church better. I, mean, I think it's a really a well-named program healthy congregations and this gives you the tools, um, the lenses with which to look through and uh, the ideas that you can bring back to your congregation in order to try and um, improve and increase the health of your congregation and really I mean, healthy congregation, that's what we're all shooting for and aiming for and when we have health in our congregations we can you know, do the work of the church better and so it's, it's, it's been valuable for us, that's for sure. I really enjoyed doing this, I think. All of us would gain power, gain knowledge, gain confidence from doing something like this. There have been a lot of concepts in the material that are, that are useful in thinking about um, dealing with other people, really, in everyday life. Um, the notions initially of, of anxiety in a, in a congregation and how it expresses itself and uh, the usefulness of covenant as a way of, of down-regulating people. How to deal with, with tremendous change, um, how to be leaders that are uh, really thoughtful about how we approach the situation, not react, not be drawn into, there's been a lot of discussion about triangles, um, which you can really see happening a lot. Um, and just making sure we have a very strong um, uh, approach that's, uh, that is, is both balancing all different sides of um, particular issues. Um, and being a leader that kind of can cut through all the emotion, all the baggage, everything that's going on, and really have a, a voice, uh, really a voice of reason. I also like the concentration on setting goals for making a change, making a difference in people's lives because that's why I'm in this church and I think that for us to be concentrating on that so specifically is, is a good thing and not concentrating on becoming bigger and better and, and that sort of goal I think we need to focus on coming together and making a difference in our lives and in the lives of the people in the greater Pittsburgh area. And so that's what we're doing here. I've really gotten a lot out of uh, this training overall. I, right from the very beginning, it's made me think about my own personal experiences and uh, conflict in the very beginning, especially the issue of dealing with conflict and not being afraid and taking courage and not letting things fester. And, um, it was a little too close to home sometimes because it made me realize that I really needed to deal with things but um, as a leader in the church I'm on the board it's been really helpful because I can't let that I have to be a leader that's somebody that you know pays attention to these things and, and if I can't deal with it my if I can't manage my own um, anxiety and feelings then how can I expect to help lead this church effectively and, and you know help, help, help model that for others. The whole idea of, of churches being these Kind of living organisms and relating to that kind of to the uh, uh, to what happens in your body and just figuring out okay how can we how can we make this organism be as healthy as possible and not let viruses and other bad things kind of influence how the overall congregation works. At first, um, I was a little bit hesitant to actually do it. It just felt like it was a lot of time. You know, it's a lot of weekends and some Friday nights and. You know, I have limited amount of time as it is, but um, you know, I'm on the board, so it felt like it was something that I should probably take part in. And even after the first couple 
sessions, it felt like, well, we're just talking about stuff that I understand already, and I didn't, I wasn't really sure what I was getting out of it. But then, you know, of course, almost, you know, within a month, we were actually dealing with situations in the church um, involving reducing people's anxiety, things that we'd actually talked about in the congregations training. So it's kind of funny how, um, you know, almost immediately upon taking it, we're finding ways to put it into practice. Yeah, every single time I've gotten something out of it, and I've been through a lot of training, so I'm always kind of, really, another one, and they're long, and it's a whole day, it's a huge commitment, but um, I haven't missed one because it's been so poor and I've gotten so much out of it, so it's been really great. Glad you did it. The exercises and the videos of other people dealing with problems have really gotten us to think about some of the issues that happen in our own congregations and how to deal with them with maturity, I guess, would be what I think. And even though a lot of the material does have Christian contextual uh, examples, it completely seems to me to be about human relations and, and groups and the kinds of things that get going in congregations that are confusing to us as, as helpers or leaders or whatever, as participants even. I also like that you meet people from other churches, which is enlightening and empowering. One of the best things about this is being with other UUs from other churches. I love that. I love having a chance to get together with other people and finding out where they're coming from and what they're doing at their churches. And I love that aspect of it. I'm also... Um, Kind of a middle management position um, at work. I'm a library manager, manager branch, and um, I have to manage uh, change a lot. Um, I have to manage the people that work with me, and then manage upward. And, and um, thinking about um, what conflict management and change, and, and and trying to kind of mentor people, dealing with pain, people's personal pain. That was a big thing because it really did make me assess that I don't really like other people in pain and I ha do not have a I do not have a high tolerance for that and so figuring out how to kind of figure that out and acknowledge that and how to manage that is a big deal because then I don't necessarily say no when I should say no or um, help people be the best that they can be for the organization if I don't confront the issues that need to be confronted so that's been big and I've been thinking about that in terms of my management of staff and um, it, even in terms of the, dealing with the public and their complaints and Customer service aspect of it. Also, my wife has commented that since taking the Healthy Congregations training, I've personally become more, uh, I don't want to say more understanding of other people's positions, but definitely, you know, she says she sees a, a positive difference in my own outlook towards other people. So 